even though I have tried, I can no longer hide it. I can no longer hide the truth that I have run out of new radios to review. So this video will be the third in a series of videos that I will be uploading over the next few weeks in which I will be revisiting some of my favorite radios. And these are not my favorite radios necessarily because they are the best radios you can purchase. Nay, these are my favorite radios because there is something special about each and every one of them. So in this video, I will be revisiting my two favorite simple and easy to use handheld GMRS walkie-talkie radios. And because these easy to use radios are so easy to use, this video will be very simple and probably very short because I understand that the type of person interested in purchasing a simple to use radio is not interested in hearing about RF frequency harmonics or how many DCS tones the radio can support or how many spurious RF emissions that a radio squirts. So there will be none of that in this video. And because I have already made videos about both of these radios, maybe even more than one video, I don't know. I don't really care anymore. But the point is that anyone that was about to leave a comment complaining that I've already made videos about these radios, just please sit back down because nobody cares what you think. When you look at most handheld GMRS walkie-talkie radios, you will find usually a lot of buttons and you will usually find a very busy screen. A very busy screen that is usually fudge packed with all kinds of stuff. And all of these buttons and fancy looking screens really do attract some people. But I am not talking about that today. Today, as already stated only moments ago, I will be talking about simple and easy to use GMRS handheld walkie-talkie radios. I now have before me the Wuxin Ocean KG805G and the Wuxin Ocean KG905G, my two favorite easy to use handheld GMRS walkie-talkie radios. The KG805G being the most simple of the two, and the KG905G being a slightly more complicated radio, yet still a much more simple to use radio than most other complicated radios. The KG805G costs about $79 of monies, affiliate link below, and the KG905G costs only about $99 of monies. Affiliate link below. And although I am getting nothing in return for making this Pacific video, buy2wayradios.com did send me this Wuxin Ocean KG805G at no cost a few years ago, However, I would like to point out that I did pay full price for this Wuxin Ocean KG905G handheld walkie-talkie GMRS radio. As I just mentioned only a moment ago, these are both GMRS radios, which means that our overlords at the FCCs have decreed that in order to talk on either of these radios, thou shall first render unto the FCCs things of which the FCC's once, which in this case means paying $35 of monies for a GMRS license. No license or permission slip is required to purchase either of these radios or any GMRS radio, and no license or permission slip is required to own, possess, or listen to a GMRS radio. Because these are both GMRS radios, they both come pre-programmed right out of the box with the standard 22 GMRS channels and the standard eight GMRS repeater channels. 
This means that no programming of any kind is required to use either of these radios. You simply remove them from their box, power them on by turning the on knob, select the channel, and listen. Optionally, to talk, you simply push the talk trigger, hold the radio near your noise hole, and talk. As you can see, when compared to a more confoculating type radio, both of these radios have fewer buttons. And when you look at the screens, you will see that neither is cluttered and both are easy to read, particularly the KG805G, which has a very simplified screen. Both of these screens do very well in bright sunlight, making them both perfect to use whilst on the couch or while on the go. For example, whilst hiking or off-roading or during any other types of vigorous outdoor activities. The screen on the KG905G is slightly more busy than what you will find on the KG805G. So if you believe that you might be a latent radio dork, but you have not yet transitioned, the KG905G might be a better choice for you. Both radios have a both radios have a menu button, which you may never even need to use. They both have channel up and down buttons used for changing the channel in either an upward or downward fashion. And they both have an exit button, which would be used in conjunction with the aforementioned menu button, which you may never even need to use. Additionally, the KG805G sports an AB button, which is used to scan through the channels Again, something many people will have no interest in ever doing. Both radios come with very easy to read and very easy to understand user manuals. I have already completed the first step of user manual usage, which is throwing it in the trash. So I cannot show the manuals to you, but both manuals are written in perfect English and not only explain how to use the radios, but they also explain some of the concepts of GMRS radio in general that many people that are new to the exciting and dynamic world of GMRS may not yet understand. Both radios output up to five watts, which means they both have just as many FARs as any other handheld GMRS or ham radio walkie-talkie. And with both of these radios, I am able to use my two favorite repeaters, one of which is 35 miles away, the other 69 miles away. And I am able to talk with my friends Chris and Conrad, the chef, direct radio to radio, no repeaters, at a distance of 10 and 13 miles away respectively. However, how many FARs you get will depend upon what is between you and the other radio that you're trying to talk with. The RF electricities that squirt from this type of radio will not go around mountains, nor will they go through thick forests or buildings full of gravitationally enriched people. What I am saying is your FARs will vary. Both of these radios, whilst very simple to use, can do everything or at least pretty much everything that any of the more fancy GMRS handheld walkie-talkies can do. And off the top of my head, I can think of nothing significant that either of these radios cannot do when compared to a fancy, more complicated radio. But I'm sure that someone will leave a comment to let us all know if I'm wrong, so check through the comments to see what I may be forgetting. Both of these radios are of the super heterodyne persuasion. This means that they are more sensitive and can receive weaker signals than those cheap SOC or homodyne, homodyne type radios. And these super heterodyne radios receive less bleed over and less unpleasant static from other channels, something that us radio experts call selectivity. Selectivity. There are other differences between these higher quality super heterodyne type radios when compared with the cheaper SOC or homodyne homodyne type radios, but if you are interested in one of these simple type radios, you probably do not care about any of that. However, in case you are wondering, it is this super heterodyne type circuitry 
that accounts for the higher price of both these radios and all superheterodyne type radios. The KG905G has an IP66 rating, whereas the KG805G has only an IP55 rating. This means that you can safely play with your KG905G in the bathtub, but you should probably not play submarine with the KG805G. And yes, most importantly, both of these radios do have a Roger beep so that anyone listening to your transmissions will not know that you are using a simple and easy to use radio. Now I should also point out that because both of these radios have fewer buttons, when compared to many more complicated radios. This means that it can be more difficult to program in repeaters or do other fancy customizations directly on the radio itself. And if that is something that you know you will be doing a lot of, then these radios may not be for you. However, you can use your computer to do additional fancy programming and customizations, which makes it much easier. However, as previously mentioned, that is all optional. Both of these radios work right out of the box. No programming or customization is required. My friend, my point here is that these radios are for simple people wanting to do simple things, such as picking it up, turning it on, going to the same channel that their friend is on, pressing the trigger, and talking. These radios are not primarily intended for radio dorks. Nay, these radios are what the radio dorks buy and then hand to their friends to use without any fear that they will become overwhelmed or frightened by all of the buttons of a more fancy radio dork type radio. <laughs>